Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a quick video on how you can block Discord from your kid's mobile device if you are on Verizon. Uh, Discord is a chatting program that is super popular these days. It's for gamers and, uh, and in classrooms a lot of kids are installing it and they create a um, using someone sets up uh, their their discord as a server and everyone else connects to it and then they can all chat so there's been a lot of complaints about teachers are trying to teach class through zoom or other ways uh, from home uh, and the kids are on their phones connected all together and they're chatting and doing other things which is distracting them from focusing on the teacher and uh, so if you're having this problem and you talk to your child and that hasn't worked and they're still doing it there are ways to disable it from their device from their mobile device so here's what the discord app looks like on ios uh, here's the google play version so that's what the logo looks like uh, you can see if they have it installed on their device or if they're using it. Uh, if you're on Verizon, you can get something called Smart Family. Uh, it costs extra. It's either $4.99 or $9.99 uh, for your family plan if you have your family all on Verizon. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how, once this is installed and you have it set up correctly with all your users, how you can actually go in and disable Discord. Okay, so here's my mobile device and let me launch Verizon Smart Family. So when I do that, there's a few different ways we can set it up here. Uh, here on the, in the top, it shows you all your users. So the first user A is one of my children. And once you select them, then you can scroll down and you can go to the section where it says content filters. So under content filters, if you tap in there, it shows you different groups. And under messaging, I can tap messaging and in here you can see that discord is there so at this point I can essentially just tap there on the right and say save and when I do that now it shows me that there's one blocked under messaging and that basically is discord so at that point they don't have access to use that if they try launching it it might launch but they won't be able to connect to their friends or chat with anyone so that's the quickest and easiest thing to way to do it would be that let me un and untap that and say save and now it's enabled again you could also, if you wanted to just disable everything, under that user, you can scroll down, scroll up to where it says pause internet. And if I tap pause internet, it'll disable all their internet from that device. So that's another option. And there's one more setting you can do. You can also go into limits and then tap on time limits. And then there you can set up school hours so you can say between this time, whatever time you want, Monday through Friday or whatever days, you can say disable internet. Now if you do that, it's going to again disable everything, not just Discord. So those are a couple options you have, but if you want to disable just Discord, you're going to have to manually do it. All right. Uh, but that gives you a way for you to be able to go in and disable Discord if you are using Verizon. Now if you're using some other provider, they should have their own parental app also that lets you do the same thing all right hope that was helpful to someone and uh, please like and subscribe if you like this content i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers and uh, have a good one thanks bye bye